Let's handle cosine. How do you differentiate the cosine of x from first principles? Okay, so we know that if we are to differentiate that, that is negative sine of x. So how do we show that from first principles? All right, let's recall our formula from first principles. The definition is that the limit as h approaches zero, f of x plus h minus f of x that's basically divided by h okay so in our case our f of x plus h is going to be cos x plus h the other part remains equivalent to the function itself okay so expansion of that is what is cardinal to this video expansion of that comes from some angle formula and if you're new to that check the description for that video and that basically implies cosine of x cosine of h and then minus sine of x sine of h okay so we'll just go on and substitute so the limit as h approaches zero and then cosine of x plus h minus the cosine of x over our h and then on the next step that's where we are just going to substitute mm -hmm. that some angle expansion so that's going to be cosine of x cosine of h minus sine of x sine of h minus the cosine of x to be divided by our h okay at this point the limit as h approaches zero we know what to do here we want to factorize the parts that are in cosine of x i think that's the only common part that we have so if we do factorize cosine of x for the first part you're going to remain with cosine of h the other part it will just be minus a one now this is not part of that factorization so it will stand as it is okay this is all divided by h so we can actually see some identities already so for the first part i'll pull out the cosine of x and then i'll distribute the limit so the limit as h approaches zero for the cosine of h minus one divided by h and then minus this other part we can also put the sine of x which is not having the h and then multiply by the limit as h approaches zero for sine of h over the h so we've divided these two independent parts by the h okay and then we've identified the parts that are capable of giving us an identity okay so if you're new to these identities i've added the video the link is in the description about these identities as well so what do we have at this point we have cosine of x this is equivalent to a zero minus sine of x this is equivalent to a 1 so you basically end up having negative sine of x as a result okay so that is actually the derivative of cosine of x from first principles okay i hope you've understood give us a comment if you have